Alright, Joe McKenna, awesome flow, just beat the eyebrows. Is that a revenge match for you? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I mean, going into that, you know, I faced Bryce in our time, NCAAs last year, you know, I got the best of me. So going into that, I definitely thought a little bit a revenge, but also, you know, trying to get where I want to be, you know. I mean, to be the best guy in the country, I got to beat guys like that on a consistent basis. So that's just what I'm trying to do. I mean, definitely revenge feels good. The win feels good, but... You know, it's, it's not about what happens here, it's about what happens in March. Right on. Now, were you kind of specifically game plan for him, or just because it's big tournament, man, you gotta just be prepared for everybody? I mean, definitely I knew he would be the guy that I'd be most likely to face, mm -hmm. uh, especially, you know, after wrestling him at NCAAs, so I knew that was definitely gonna be a matchup that I wanted to have and should have had here. Um, I mean, obviously I treat every tournament the same. I mean, I'm going in just trying to be as consistent, as dominant as possible. So, had that same game plan coming in here. Awesome. Tell me about your training situation. You got real good coaching staff, and you, know, you got Jamil and then Boris there that are around your weight. Just tell me about your training situation a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's awesome having Boris there. You know, 2016 Olympian is amazing. You know, I mean, he comes in whenever I need. You know, texts me, sees how I'm doing, checks in on me, which is it's comforting in a way. You know, mm -hmm. having a top level guy like that. You know somewhere where I attain to be, looking out for me. Same same thing with my coaches. You know, I got Coach Borelli, Coach Blake, and especially Jamil, and then, you know, this year with the addition of Coach Steven Rodriguez. Um, you know, he's a little closer to our age, but <laughs> it's all right. You know, he's still got great input, different style of wrestling, you know, Big Ten. But yeah, having, having a training situation like that is definitely reassuring, you know, it reassures me reassures what my coaches tell me. They tell me I'm the best guy in the country. I believe it, but having guys like that to train with make me truly believe that. What's uh, what's Stanford doing right now that's getting them to the next level? Um, you know, everybody's getting on the same page. You know, I came in last year with a different mindset, I think, than the team had seen before, and, you know, it became contagious. You know, guys like Shram, Keaton Subject, Jim, you know, Jim Wilson was already there. He was already an All-American butler. You know, and then up and down the lineup, got other guys like Walker Dempsey and then Paul Fox. You know, they all just, they all see where we can get. And, you know, it's, I, you know, I take a lot of pride in that. You know, that my team wants to be as good as they can, which is, it's awesome. It's an awesome feeling. Are you a leader on this team? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, you know, my teammates voted me as captain as a sophomore, which is, you know, a huge honor. Um, and yeah, I mean, I just, I just want to lead, lead the team as best as I can, you know, by example, how, work ethic, all that, you know. I mean, I'm not the most vocal kind of guy, <laughs> like in the room and stuff, but you know, I definitely lead by example, and I think that goes a long way. You know, guys looking over, they see what's good, so it's definitely an awesome feeling. And uh, last thing, where you go from here, man? What's, what's, what's the next step to get you to the NCAA title? Um, I mean, next competition is scuffle in a month, so just going to rest, recover, and start training up again. Awesome. Thanks a lot. 141-pound CKLV champ, Joey McCann Stanford. Thank you.